One of any parent's many nightmares is being separated from their child in the park, at a mall, maybe on the beach. All of us know how easily that can happen. Consumer correspondent Susan Copen is here with important advice for families, though, this morning. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. Thousands of kids get lost every year. It can usually happen. The mall, the park, as Harry mentioned, you look away for a moment and your child has wandered away. That can send any parent into panic mode. Well, experts say parents need to take steps to prevent their kids from getting lost and also teach them what to do in case they get separated. Brooke Branch always keeps a close eye on her twins, but one day at the zoo, her son Quinn just vanished. I was just looking everywhere and I was just frantic. You want juice? Here's juice. Millions of parents know that feeling all too well. More than 2,000 children get lost or go missing every single day. It's incredibly common, unfortunately. Jill Staroshevsky is a child safety expert who says most small children don't know their parents' names, addresses, or phone numbers, often making it difficult to reunite lost children with their families. If there's a phone number and the parent is in the aisle two aisles away, it takes minutes. But if the child doesn't know their name or doesn't know the phone number, it can take much longer. And parents shouldn't assume that passersby will automatically help a child find his or her way home. Staroshevsky says a lost dog will often be rescued more quickly than a lost child. We wanted to see if that was true. We took a well-trained dog and a child actress to a park. We told four and a half year old Olivia to pretend to be lost near this playground. Our Sheltie named Rascal was given a tag with our cell phone number. We let him wander around with his leash, making it look like he had run away from his owner. Within three minutes, Rascal was rescued. I'm sure someone loves the dog, so I wanted to find the rightful owner. But watch what happens to Olivia. Even though she looks sad and is all alone, Plenty of people just walk on by. These women notice Olivia, but do nothing. This woman even comes up to Olivia chasing another child, but then walks away. Our expert wasn't surprised. People are often reluctant to help lost children because they're afraid of being perceived as someone who's trying to hurt the child as opposed to someone trying to help the child. Then finally, after an hour. Are you with somebody, sweetie? Or are you lost? This woman notices Olivia and comes to her aid. I walked past and realized there was nobody really with her, and I thought that could be my own child. In the end, it took 20 times longer to rescue our child than our lost dog. Oftentimes, the dog will be running on a leash without their owner, so people can see that's a lost dog. They can also go up to the dog, and there's dog tags on dogs. You, there's a phone number or contact information. Easy. You know, there's no problem. Experts say lost kids can be found much more quickly if they, too, carried emergency contact information and are taught what to do if they get lost. Teach them it's okay to approach a helpful stranger, like a mommy with children. So the child needs to say, my mommy's telephone number is in the back of my jacket, or my mommy's phone number is on my arm. That's something you need to teach the child if that's something you're going to use. And, and. As for Brooke Branch, she eventually found her son at the zoo, alone and unharmed. She's made sure her twins now know her name and phone number. It just takes one second to look away. You look down and your child's gone. So it could happen to anyone. And it's always a good idea for parents to have a current photo of their kids. One easy thing to do, take a picture of your kids, put it on your BlackBerry, your cell phone, before you head out to the zoo or the amusement park that morning, Harry. So if they do get lost, you say, hey, these are my kids. This is what they look like. Yeah, my kids are 16 and 20. I'm not sure they know my, their parents' names. <laughs> uh, so you have some things here to help out that, that could really help in a jam if your kid went missing in a right. case so like this. So if you want your kid to wear some sort of identification, a few options. We have a Velcro wristband. It's only $8. You slip it on the wrist. The information's oh, inside. Right. These are, you know, portable ones that you can bring on vacation with mm -hmm. you. This one is called. This seems the, a little more likely, right? The Who Shoes ID. You just. It's just there all the time. Yeah, you just attach right? it to the sneaker. Mm -hmm. And then we also have something here, which is the, the child locator. Right. Your child wanders away. You would know. They start beeping. All right. Susan Copen, thanks so much.